welcome back to my channel I'm Stephanie and last month I unboxed my ipsy bag for you guys and I showed you what I all got in it and then I applied the product to my face and I let you guys see what I look like beforehand and then after and I really enjoyed doing that so I figured that I'm gonna probably do that every month I've been getting ipsy bags for about a over a year now and I really like a lot of the stuff that I get in it. And I this would be kind of a way to give you guys heads up of what's in the bag and some of the fun things that I do get. For today, we're gonna talk about what I got in October's month for my Ipsy bag, and it's the Betty Boop one. I will show you all the product and stuff that I got in it. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So here are the things that I got in my bag. Two of the items that I got are something that I purchased extra. You can always pick um, some items after you get your, they'll like email you and then they'll tell you what you can get extra. And I think these were just $3 a piece. And if you want, I think bigger sizes, then they're like $10 a piece. So. I got a luminizing primer and then this is the advanced peptides collagen moisturizer uh, by Derme. so that's what I got that's extra from my bag so here let's see what we got this time I got a different um, bag usually you get bright pink bags so they change things up a little bit uh, Betty Boop bag. I knew that I was getting this one because you always get kind of like a sneak peek in your email of what you're gonna get. In the you can tell I have one right here too. This one's all like pink and sparkly. I have so many Ipsy bags already. Um, and then this one has the sequence back if you can tell. So it's kind of cute. You always get a card. They always have some extra information in here. I will start out with the first thing that's on the list. This is a skincare olive oil deep cleansing face mask. So this I'll probably use um, next time. Okay, and then it says the True Cream Aqua Balm creates healthy skincare by merging time-tested herbal traditions with modern Korean skincare. Okay, so I'll show you that one. So that I'll probably put on. And then I got the Lip and Cheek Balm. Now, I don't always use, I rather use like a dry blush, um, but today because of the video, I will put it on. So that's what the cream is. Um, Beauty Butter Lip and Cheek Balm in Mom. And the next one is the Betty Boop Ipsy Blink Wink Mascara. So this is that mascara. Now, I've never tried this mascara before. This is the Crown. Here's the pointy end and the fluffy end. So we'll give that a try. So let me put this all in order. Because I have my makeup over here too, but we're gonna try to stick to um, what I got in the bay. We are gonna start out with the cream. Here's what it looks like. Kind of a creamy, light cream. Um, I'll just put it all over. And then we'll let it sit for just a second. Um, if you apply your your moisturizer and then you start adding your primer and stuff to it, it doesn't always work very well. And then you're working with a very slimy surface, so don't do that. Let your um, let your lotion set in for a little bit. And I know some primers too require you to. Do that also okay so now the primer I did get separate but we will use it so I can let you guys know if I like it or not um, I think the last time I used my elf primer and I still have been using it and I like it so I'm gonna try to apply my makeup over here too but I okay so I kind of lost you guys for a second there so I ended up just getting a mirror um, just so I can do my ipsy bags and then I'll be able to kind of like look off to the side here. If you're wondering why I'm looking down, this gives me a, very, a better view than me coming up in front of you guys. Cause last time I was trying to do it and I did it in my bathroom and I was like, 
all up in your business. So let's try to do it this way. I think this is going to just work a little bit better. Okay. This is what I noticed with that lotion. What I like about it is it dried pretty quick. It's not greasy. It's not, um, like it's already nice and dry. It's not overly tacky, like some night creams and daily creams. So that was that one. Let me just take a look at what this one is. Oh, that one smells good. Advance. So this one, I really can't tell you because here, let's put some on my hand maybe and I'll see what it does. So this is another lotion that I'll be using. Okay, we'll see how that sets. And now I'm gonna do the primer. Luminating, luminizing primer. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so you can wear it, add it on top of your foundation also. So you, oh, that's pretty cool. So if you have your foundation on, you can add this on top of it and then it just adds a little bit more glow. The only problem with that is if you like more of a dry finish to your face, then maybe not. But maybe like in the summer and you have a tan or something and you want to illuminate it more or put some, um, make it just your face a little bit more uh, luminizing, then you could probably add that to it. So let's see. Um, a little thicker than most of my primers that I use. Most primers seem to be um, like um, thinner. So we'll see how this sets. That's that one. Put off that off to the side. Yeah, so that fits pretty good. I mean, that sets pretty good. It's already starting to um, like set in for because Lauren's trying to, and the kids are trying to watch Evelyn for me, but otherwise she'd be screaming at the door here, knowing I'm in here. So they're trying to keep her, keep her a little quiet. So it's already good. Like um, my elf one is pretty good, but I think it, this one takes like 30 seconds for it to set. And this one seems better. I like how it feels and I like the smell of it. So overall, this is pretty good. Okay. Um, another thing with these Ipsy bags, because you like do your review and you say what you like the most, um, sometimes you start getting, I don't think I've ever got like double of everything, but I get like, now that I say that I like mascara and stuff like that, I get a lot of mascara, but I don't get a lot of cover up. And I think I need to maybe do something with my profile to get more um, more cover-up stuff um, but what I did get one time was the I'm probably gonna say it wrong shape tape tape shape shape tape and I love it um, and I don't even know the brand of it but I like it and I probably will get some more of that but right now all I was using is the Mary Kay under eye cream and then the stay matte true ivory and I don't usually put a lot on, so. I know you guys saw this in my first Ipsy Bag reveal <laughs> makeup thing. It's funny, because I didn't even want to do that video, because I was like, there's no way I'm showing everybody like what I look like without makeup on. But now that I did it a couple times, with me not having makeup on that one of my other videos, I'm kind of getting used to it. So. I can tell now that I'm in this mirror that I probably should have um, wet my sponge. And I said in my other video too, sorry, I'm gonna say that a lot probably, so. But I could see maybe how the wetting it would benefit it a little bit more to make the application a little bit smoother. All right. Okay, that usually doesn't take that long. It's just because I'm trying to use new product and just trying to figure out what is, you know, what works and what doesn't work. So, and then I, gosh, what is going on here? This like, looks crazy. And this video too, I did my hair before, so I didn't have to, I actually colored it today, so. 
um so i won't be doing my hair at the end of the video like i did on my other one but okay so i'm using my elf translucent i can't even talk in this video today my elf translucent my elf translucent powder oh my goodness sometimes i talk too fast and it blur and i slur everything oh my goodness i don't know what i'm gonna keep in this video and what i'm not gonna keep in this video okay so i just do that all over my face so that i have a dry platform or dry surface um and in winter it gets worse so then i can't apply it as much because then i'm just in so dry all right so this was in one of my other um bags oh you can hear evelyn in the background she is not happy okay so i'm gonna use my double-sided um brush and i'm gonna start out with my base color right here Nothing too, nothing too dark. It'll just blend right in. Okay. And then I have my other brush here that I'm going to do more blending with. So we're just going to take this brown right here. So even if it looks a little bold right now, eventually you just kind of tie in all your colors. So because of this video, I think I might do like, um, go a little bit more bold, but I am going to quick do my eyebrows a little bit. So I just brush them out and I have a little bit of a color on the other end that I'm just going to. I know sometimes I skip all over the place and I don't just put my shadow on I kind of just go with what um, uh, I like to do certain things at certain times so I know what I want to do with my shadow so I am gonna use my I just got this kind the wet n wild um, eyeliner I don't know if I like it as much as my other one that I have and that one is um, the Rimmel I think so we're gonna go, we're gonna apply this. Oh no, this is the one. Okay, never mind. But this is my wet and wild. This one is the one that I like. just put it right on my waterline okay I don't know if anybody else feels this way when you put on makeup but do you go more bold with your lipstick or you don't go bold with both that is just craziness so we're just gonna do it now a lot of my lipsticks I get from my Ipsy bag because I don't buy. I don't buy lipstick. And if I remember, I'll try to leave all of what I use in the description below, so you can, um, you can get it. I think either on, I don't know, Amazon, eBay, some of the other Sephora and all them places you could probably look on there okay so now that I got the majority of what I do let's um, do some shadow now I'm, I'm gonna go a little bold today um, but this is not something that I would probably wear in general so let's just play around with what we have I do have some bold colors in here um, 
I do like this. Now, this I would probably use. I do usually just stick with browns and neutrals and maybe some grays and blacks and stuff and then just kind of do the smoky eye look. Um, but for this video, let's let's do some bold, bold colors because it's a Betty Boop bag and we can add some color because of that. So I think I'm going to start with the pink and let's see what we can come up with. Now, I think I'm going to build up a little bit more just over here in the corner, I think. Some. I gotta look over here. I'm gonna put some blue underneath. It's this one right top. Top out. Add some of that. I think I've been doing makeup probably since I was like maybe 11 years old. I don't know. I started wearing makeup and I think I got in trouble. So maybe my mom can, if she remembers what I did. I think I was like 11 or something like that when I started. And I think, I don't remember where even I got the makeup from. So that's the, that's the funny thing. Okay, so if you guys can kind of tell, I should have got my powder blush. So this is pretty, um, here, let's do this. This is not looking very good here, guys. Okay. So, I could have probably got one of my brushes out and made this look a little bit better. But we're just going to put a light layer on. And a lot of times, too, I use uh, bronzer. It's just more of like a light bronzing color where it will be more like a if you were in the sun, like a sun-kissed look versus a bold pink color that, um, see when I rubbed it out, it's not so bad. You can kind of see it more on this side than this side. But like up here, see how light it is? I would add more color up there. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Okay. We are going to... I'm gonna add some more brown up here. It's been kinda hear the kids in the background, they're actually playing, so they're all being occupied, which is great. Maybe I'll put some bronzer on top of here. And it just adds just a little bit more color to my face and my nose. See how that kind of picked up a little bit already? Much nicer than the cheek stuff. So I think I would keep this more for um, my lip color. And I try not to go really bold with my eye color. I would um, use this as a lip gloss then. I think I like this over this one. Um, but that's not too bad. And now you guys can kind of see with the bronzer on there how that looks nicer than the bright pink. That's just a better color on me, I guess. Now I'm going to um, fuzzy fuzzy. Yeah, I don't like. I don't know. I just seem really dry or some reason with that primer or that. I'll have to try it again, I guess, and see how I like it. Oh man, look at that. Yikes. Okay, my nails like scratched me. All right, so last time I put my liner and stuff on, you guys 
I have to look up my nose. So we're going to do this different this time. That's my liner. Um, and then for my um, mascara. Okay, this is really funny because <laughs> when I set up to do this video, I grabbed four because I build my lashes because I have no lashes, but then I have the Betty Boop one that we just got. So we're gonna play around with the Betty Boop one. I do like the Thrive. Um, what is it? Li Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. That's one works really good too and I'm almost out. And this one I got in one of my Ipsy bag salts. So we're gonna try this first. Okay, when I put my mascara on, usually I will like grab one of my other brands, put this on, then I'll put this on because this one works really, really good. Um, and then I just like kind of build up, build up, build up. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna show you. It's hard to tell, but I hardly have any any lashes so I don't know what to start with I suppose we'll start with the Betty Boop because we really want to make sure that it works versus something else okay. I can do this so you guys um, it doesn't give me like a lot of length let's see what it, I don't even know what this one even Blink and Wink Mascara. Um, limited edi edition collection in partnership with Beauty Moose Betty Boop. Lash length lengthening formula will give your lashes dramatic lift, separating and defining. Um, it doesn't smudge easy, it lasts all day without flaking. Okay, I could say that it does it's dramatic and it does separate. I don't think it gives you a length. But that's when I would um, probably use another mascara to help build with it. Kind of a funny story. Um, with me having so many boys, my kids really weren't ever interested in um, like playing with any of my makeup or getting into anything of mine with makeup related stuff. But now with Evelyn, what's so funny is that every time I put my makeup on or do my hair, she like, I'll give her like a brush and she thinks she's putting makeup on now, which is funny, which she won't wear makeup for a long time, but um, once in a while I'll put a little bit of like lip gloss on her, you know, like clear lip gloss and she thinks she's all like fancy. And this morning I let her out of the bed here and she grabbed one of my mascaras and she can't get my mascara open. So that's why I let her play with some of it just because she thinks she's like being cute in the mirror by me. And one of the boys is like, Mom, 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 Evelyn has black stuff that's not on your eyes. It's all over her. I was like, oh, oh no. So I went out there and it wasn't. It wasn't all over her hair. She had like a little bit right here. She had a little bit in her hair. And I caught her just in time. It was probably like a couple of seconds after she grabbed it. But it's so funny to have another little girl that's like into that. And not that she has to be into that kind of stuff. But... The difference between having girls and boys, it is so different for me and um, it's cute because she wants me to do her hair, she'll like see my shoes and my boots and stuff and she'll want to try them on and it's just cute. But anyways, I just had to add that cute little story to, to this today. So that's pretty much it. Now this isn't too bad now that I have it all on, the pink isn't too bad. I probably wouldn't wear lipstick that day to make it so dramatic. Maybe some lip gloss. Um, and now that I added that bronzer to my cheek, it's not that bad either. So this is a pretty light look. Um, and the shadow isn't, I mean, even though it's pink and pretty bold, it's not, it's not too bad. I think I would maybe wear that or whatever, but that's not part of um, the bag. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. It was really fun to unbox the Ipsy bag with you. If you enjoyed my video today with my Ipsy bag, it was really fun to try the products out and share with you guys what I got. Um, I know I've been telling you guys a lot to um, the ones that have been watching and new followers. Thank you for following. I hope you guys are enjoying all of our videos. And then, um, don't forget to hit the notification bell down below. It will let you know every time that I upload another video. Otherwise, you guys will kind of miss out on some of my homeschool videos, um, craft videos, cooking videos with the kids. We've been having a lot of fun with that. Uh, other than that, I will see you in the next one.